everyone. My name's Andrew, and I'd like to welcome you all to Hollywoodland. Please don't go out the emergency exit, the door will shut and lock behind you. Please keep your feet off the seat backs and railings, and turn off your cell phones. Show's about to start, so I hope you all enjoy your movie. You know, when I started looking for work, I figured, like, I want to make movies. So, logically, movie theater. It's perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, the way everybody wishes you weren't bothering them is perfect practice for making movies. Freedom. And I'll take you to rescue your wife. Where are we going? Yes! You know what pisses me off? They use the same actors in everything. Tarantino had Christoph Waltz in Inglorious Bastards, and here he's again. Wait, um, who's Christoph Waltz? Inglorious Bastards. He was the bad guy. Look, like not the best example, but still, I mean, like, how do you get on that list? I'm not talking like Will Smith or Johnny Depp level, but still, like, how do you go from doing some small time stuff to getting up there? I mean, is it Johnny Depp like best friends with Tim Burton or something? Well, yeah, but I mean, he started in that first Freddy flick. And he had 21 jump straight. He had such a career before his uh, Okay, okay, oh, fine, 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 fine. But knowing the right people has got to have something to do with it. And being sexy as hell can't hurt either. Why don't you create your own stuff and put yourself into it? What you should do is watch Henry III. The first person I think about would be Michael Richards. Prepare a dramatic monologue from it and a comedic one. Everybody does it. Hitchcock, Tarantino, Woody Allen. If he gets involved in it, because I know he's not really doing anything, uh, I'm sure Jerry Seinfeld would uh, get involved in it. Kevin Smith is silent Bob in almost everything he has ever done. It could take years to get a call back. Don't get discouraged. 